there is evidence presented that casts doubts on the veracity of the stories about the children. One example shown is a photo of Megan with what appears to be a moon bump prosthetic that fell quite low on her body. This raised questions about whether she was actually pregnant. Additionally, claims were made that Kensington Palace had apologized at one point for any misunderstanding caused by Harry and Meghan's statements about using a surrogate. Beyond this, the few family photos that have been publicly released of the children are deemed to obviously be photoshopped or edited. Further doubts were cast on an anecdote about the Queen spending time playing on the floor with Harry and Meghan's children during the Jubilee celebrations. Given the Queen's mobility issues at that time, this story is seen as not credible. Overall, the stories and photos involving Harry and Meghan's children are argued to not be very convincing. The public appears to have unquestioningly accepted the uncertainty without proper investigation or verification of the basic facts regarding the children's existence. One aspect brought into question is Harry and Meghan's talk of it taking a village to raise children. Yet they have allegedly alienated themselves from family support on both sides. Notes how other royal family members like the Middletons and Mike and Zara Tyndall are helping to support William and Kate's family instead. However, it is argued that the identity of this supposed village helping to raise Harry and Meghan's children, assuming they exist, remains a mystery. A double standard is perceived between the intense media scrutiny faced by William and Kate versus the apparent lack of scrutiny of Harry and Meghan regarding their children. William and Kate were relentlessly pursued over an edited photo and Kate's absence from public duties following her surgery. Yet Harry and Meghan do not seem to face similar questioning about their children. It is observed that the media seemingly does not care to investigate the veracity of Harry and Meghan's claims, instead wanting to push a positive Hollywood narrative. Meanwhile, all it took was a simple, dignified announcement from Kate to stop rumors about her situation. She should not have needed to explain or apologize, yet handled it with remarkable class. In contrast, Harry and Meghan's long Oprah interview is framed as unnecessary and self-promotional. Basic facts about their children remain private and unverified despite being listed in the line of succession. Numerous inconsistencies are highlighted that cast further doubt on the children's existence. For example, Megan has never publicly discussed pregnancy symptoms, changes to her body, or motherhood experiences in any real depth, something most parents of young children would likely want to discuss. The few photos of outings with the children are also very blurred and pixelated, raising questions. It does not seem feasible that Megan would truly be the primary caretaker without any visible support staff.